12, 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. It is time to spread the undiluted gospel to the dying world. An expository moment wrapped up with the power of the Holy Ghost. This is Pure Gospel Moment with Mac Miracle. Guest set for an encounter with a God who changes identity. My God will compress the time and give the Lord portion of Jesus' name. Amen! You hear me? I hear me very well. Any person that will get the prodigal song story will say, God, oh, in short, I need to go and waste for us. But I'm not trying to pay from that perspective. But this is how God works. You see, by Friday, I'll be sharing some secrets. Do you know that the person you kill, you do not always speak against you? If there's any instrument, Satan fears in this world, dreads the blood of Jesus Christ. Because that blood is not speaking against any other thing for Satan. It ensures that no other person kills him for Satan. See, see, Jesus is a strategic man. He would have did it in a way that abortion would have killed him. He would have did it in a way that maybe sickness would have killed him. No, he did this that Satan stepped in. Satan stepped in from the beginning to the end. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Satan stepped in. God bless you. So till tomorrow, the blood of Jesus still call out Satan and say, Satan, you know we are not finished our discussion. We are not finished our discussion. How many of you have been in a situation before whereby? You are calling somebody, and the person calling you back. Who is the best of all to throw you the money? Eh? You first of all look at the phone from different corner. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Because when you are calling that person, till tomorrow the death Satan is calling Jesus. That's why when you give him the blood, he does not have a choice. Justification will multiply your fruitfulness and give you no good. Rehab was a prostitute. But she was justified by the blood. She did not save her family. Because she believed from God, she became the leader through which was Christ came to the earth. Amen. Because of us in Jesus' name. Is somebody getting blessed tonight? When you go home tonight, eh, because I don't want to do all the prayers and breaking the yoke and the strength. Because some of you, for you are saying, it's not coming from your inside. Because you are saying, this thing, any person will me, you should stop. You will be remembering people you've worried. You understand what I'm trying to say? Satan is very wicked. He will come and speak to you and say, You are saying this way. What does the one you have done? No. When you are justified, you have done nothing. You are perfect. So it's a perfect. perfect. So it's a perfect. Can he prove it today? From tomorrow, come with a new identity and understanding. You know, when I was praying for this message, if it is an illustration for me, how many of you have gone to ATM before? After you withdraw, you now turn ATM, ATM, thank you. And you now need to say ATM, thank you. Hey. They showed me one picture one time. The sister is so respectful. She put her shoe in front of the bank and enter inside. Very responsible sister. Show me another one after withdraw, she now kneel down. And she, instead, it's the ATM that will thank you. Thank you for banking with us. Two of us. From today, anything you demand for, it will thank you for receiving it. Amen. You know, when I travel, somebody called me up. I said, I'm so sorry, I'll be on you. I don't know, we won't buy the muscle. He said, please. Please, say your account number. Papa. So you asked for your account number, I said it. The money that came in. I was thinking she was thinking. Ah, no, no, no. Thank you. I say, yeah, yeah. So this thing worked like this. May the things people fight to get, you get paid to receive it. The same thing, listen, what I'm talking about is something that you cannot even get that kind of form without dropping on the natural. There's some money you want to borrow, then you put that you want to something. When you understand the justification power, 
you will demand by God's grace. By God's grace, by His mercy. Okay, I will share that on our Friday meeting. Before the end of this day, we're having a lot of property. Amen. The justification power. It will make you demand things that people feel you are high. Listen very attentively. From tonight, the narrative of your result will be a difference in Jesus' name. Amen. There is somebody here tonight. From this program, this 11th hour, this revival meeting, the dimension in which you will operate will be a massive difference in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't joke with the justification power. There are some things with your mistake, you don't have the right to think about it. But because you understand justification power, you will not just demand for it, you will possess it. Because you're possible to trust Finally, as we rise up to pray, we're going to back to the book of Ephesians 1 verse 7. Is somebody really blessed tonight? Yes, sir. And you are the bronze in the Today is just, let's just put the precept and the foundation. You know, from tomorrow, you will start seeing fire drop. You will be seeing blood everywhere. Somebody say blood. Yeah. You know what I say? Oh my God. There is something that I was saying there. You know, my wife and I, God, we said, do not say this one today, but I will say it. Let us read the Bible first before I say it. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin, according to the riches of his grace. Somebody say, I am graced. I am graced. I am graced. I am justified. I am justified. I am justified. I am justified. So when you are graced, this grace cannot walk around you. Do you know what it means? Romans 8, 28, that says that all things work together for you. All the things that are supposed to disgrace you will become a promotion. That's why you can never seek a man that is graced. I'll never forget this during my campus days. You know, when you are very principled, people will say that you are very annoying. So I've always been a principled person. And there's this lecturer everybody dreading. This man, everybody, you know, they are always the kind of lecturer that is always taking the important courses and is not a sweet place. So, when this man came into the lecture hall, he was thinking about who to make this course read. One way or the other, I just found favor in his sight. And he looked at me. And he said, You, call my name. Guess what? You are my course read. The entire class revolted. No, no, no. We've already decided we have a representative. This one, no, no, it will kill everybody. Because, you know, especially some part of some youth, they don't like somebody that will be very strict. They like the kind of course read that when they are not present, you can write their name in a No, 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 not that way. You know? I think we are very attentive. You can be very jovial on principle. The way they revolted, it was enough for the man to reproach me and say, Man, sit down. How will everybody be against you? The moment they did that, the man smiled. I was very happy. He said, Yes, this is kind of portrait I want. The one that people cannot control, that everybody can talk to. He said, This is not democracy, this is petrocracy. I was that man's portrait from my year one to final year. He ended up being my supervisor. He's one of the best men I have on the face of the earth today. What's supposed to bring a man down? Because of the redemption power, it is simple. Listen, anything that blood is involved in becomes very serious. When you get money, it's more money. When you get blood money, it's massive. True of course. When you hear that the thing is very bloody, it means that it's very, very serious. Hear me and hear me very well. Your testimony will be bloody in Jesus name. People will know that blood is involved. You know, I was just coming into town today and I had a story testimony with one of my daughters. She destroyed my egg. I'm saying this from the cookies. You know, you know, groundbreaking, that, that, that kind of grade that the kind of one we always see on social media. But I have somebody that has got that kind of grade. So right now, say, because this is why this person makes also. You understand? Now, this is, those are the kind of things that the world of work can be marked for you. Now, let me say this to you before we go today. Let me say this to you. 
At this point of the year, people are already packing up two of us. People are already pushing their vision in their state. Except in our call, between now and the end of 2021, every of your aspiration, dream, and target will come to fruitful manifestation in Jesus' name. They say very attentively, somebody here has already covered the page of the year and said that God, this thing is not want this year, but I trust you enough for this year. My God is bringing back the time, compressing it and giving you a magnificent portion in Jesus' name. Amen. From this moment, those things that were taken off from your life in the year 2021, my God will bring them, multiply them, press them down, shake it over, and add it up to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, this is very attentively, somebody here. Between now and the end of this program, a testimony that will make you jump will come to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, listen. I am not just saying things for the sake of making lines and all that. There are some testimony that is not worth jumping for. The kind of testimony that will make you jump. Do you know there are some testimony that can set you for the entire day? Yes, sir. I pray for compensation testimonies in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From this moment, I decree, before the end of the year, that testimony that will compensate you for every stress of death and judgment, manifest your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There was a point in my life, you know, when I see somebody training in the tour, sometimes it's not deliberate. So I was almost at that point of, okay, you didn't work out again. Just at that moment, it's as if the time of life just turned in my favor. In less than a week, things I struggled toward for came in its full capacity. Yet me again very well. Never underestimate the workings of God. The God that can turn the situation of 10 years in a moment. We turn whatever situation that has made you to this day in your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. There's somebody here, hear me, I hear me very well. The situation hit you this season that destroyed everything that you've built over the years. It has destroyed everything you've invested on over the years. You have destroyed your trust capacity. You have destroyed your credibility. You have destroyed your confidence. I decree over everyone hearing the sound of my voice that testimony that will restore in full come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I will round off this testimony from the Bible. Joseph's case was not going to prison. It was the things he lost before going to prison. You know, when you are accused for what you did, it's even painful. You know, the thing you did though, they accuse you for it. It's somehow painful. True of us. Imagine how painful and how dehumanizing it is when you are accused for something you know nothing about. Till tomorrow there are still massive injustices. There is somebody hearing the sound of this thing, hearing my voice now from this thing. Everybody in charge of the case, so your, I'm talking about your cousin. This cousin is like a brother to you. Often you. You are not even trusting him. He said he did it. And as I'm speaking to you right now, this person has served three years in jail. Three good years. And we're still talking about our waiting trial. Every strange blood speaking against that soul. From this moment, the blood of Jesus is a sin. As you raise your hand and say, Thank you, Jesus, you will celebrate his release in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody here, your husband completely has left the home. This is somebody that was the best for you. Somebody that sacrificially ensured that there is nothing missing. But as I speak to you right now, this is somebody that is consciously fighting for an end for the home. When blood speaks against peace, there is no way you can put together. The blood of Jesus that restore, restore your home now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't give up on somebody that God is working on. When the blood of powers and demons, the blood of strange waters walk against the person, listen, the person will do things never thought he would do. Stop fighting spiritual battle with physical energy. It's a wasted effort. Joseph was kept in jail. From the beast, 
He was thanking God that he has got a fresh air in Potiphar's house. If it was in this present day, they would say Joseph is suffering from foundational wickedness. No, he was a man in process. When God is processing you, depending on the blood covenant, he will never give up. From Potiphar's house, he was shifted into jail. For three good years, he was forgotten by somebody he helped him jail. If you add up all the years Joseph wasted, according to the human calculation, there will be no kind of testimony that can compensate him. True or false? So if not this kind of one, I better forget, I don't want testimony. But hear me and hear me very well. When the testimony arrives, any person that is in prison will pray to me like Joseph. I don't know who you are right now as I speak to you. Every time you look at your wasted years, it's as if you should throw away your Bible. When you calculate the rates at which those that you are measuring yourself with have gone, it's as if this Christianity of the thing is not worth it. As we rise up to our feet right now, there is power massively present here today to compensate. Come on, rise up to our feet. This person I'm speaking about, listen very attentively. People see you and they admire your work with God, but as I speak to you, it's as if, I mean, I'm just doing this thing for the sake of the people that are looking up to me. You are. When you understand how to operate with the blood of Jesus Christ, now the blood of Jesus Christ is not for you to anoint the tires. As we are traveling, the blood of Jesus on the tires. No, no, no. You are wasting treasure. That blood test for remission. So if there are cases of you going back to some level of struggles and pain and pitfalls, all you have to do is to invite the covenant of God. It will defend you. Are you understanding me right now? Can I be very sincere with us? Let me say something at this point. If any casual sister out there is being arrested right now, the pastor man will not for is not make any difference. He might not stay and pray about it. But for they say that. Ah, not her. Say that there is somebody interrogating uh, a mama in the house. Forget it too. While the message is going on first, they will go on first of all the thing. They want to see the power of a man. Touch his blood more than that. Have you seen the mother before? Disregard every security precaution, every safety precaution to save the child. They will not do that for any child. It is the blood that propels that spontaneous reaction. Women naturally are fearful, but not when it involves their child. After they have acted, that way they will remember. Now, me running to that one, there are some people, before they pray, God step into their situation. Because God is involved. Hear me? If you try it to contend with some grace, that disgrace that comes over to that party is quadruple multiplied and running over. You know why? Because you are dealing one on one with the pride of God. Your battle drastically reduced when you are totally connected to the covenant of God. When you see somebody consistently going back for deliverance or fighting Satan's battle, it's a display of the ignorance he lacks of the covenant of God. My people perish not for the lack of power, not for the lack of covenant, but for the lack of us. Wants to put an end to when you place a demand on the blood of the land, it steps in for you. Because it was in Jesus' name. Finally, on this part one, we'll round off and we'll pray. 
I will share three basic powers of God as for people to come power. Not power of God, Romans 3, verse 25. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. He said, Who God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith is God, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. The number one God power is the propitiation power. Somebody say propitiation. Somebody say propitiation power. I can't hear you properly. What do you understand by the word propitiation? See, propitiation is the ability of the Spirit of God. Making the growth of the addiction. Propitiation is when somebody steps in on your behalf to take away some level of consequence by paying the cost for your mistake. Do you understand that? What did I say? When you want to propitiate on somebody's behalf, it simply means to make somebody pleased or less angry by giving or saying something desired. By giving, remember about giving. Now, for instance, now you have the phone and somebody came and destroyed that phone. And you say this person must die today. At that point, you don't need to beg, say no, don't kill the person. If you can get a better phone than that one, will the person calm down? Now, the wrong part of our one is that the Lord is a propitiation power. It can appease any form of consequence. Financial consequence, marital consequence, yet yeah, yeah, very well. No matter what you are faced with, if you can provide the Lord, it will set you. You know, the highest currency in the world is God. What did I say? That propitiation power. When you understand the propitiation power, hear me and hear me very well, you will not walk in the future. Do you know why some people are not making progress? Because they are trying to qualify their future by their present and past realities. They are trying to raise their rising by their ability to walk and impact. It's an error. Somebody say error. The propitiation power gives you peace, gratefulness, and progress. These three things, if it's lacking in your life, there will be no result. When you have peace, yet you live very well, let it be your account officer is calling you that. Right now, what's happening to you? You are coming to block your account and all that. You will be relaxed. And he grows in the name. Our program we are about to do our project. Money has been spent. More money in hundreds of thousands are still required. But I don't look stressed. I don't feel stressed. You know what? <clears throat> listen, that is why you must listen. If there is anything you must push far away from you, it's faith dispensers. Because they will help you be very anxious and anxiety will kick in. When anxiety kicks in the life of a man, his peace is altered. And when the peace is altered, it becomes peace. When your peace is altered, somebody say, I secure my peace with the blood of Jesus. That is why I have come to the realization that I will not pay attention to any local music. Ah, no. Maybe casually, so that I will just stay updated. I can't wake up in the morning and the first thing again to listen to the news. You think we will pray by the economy of this world? Never. Never. Because your person is for still. See, every power working against your peace today, I bring them to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody hearing this message in the name of Jesus Christ, your peace is restored. Amen. A world that has been divided already. The mother, you are going to divorce paper, all you have to do is to push to the next phase and put an end. By the mercy of God upon your children, your peace is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No money can give peace. Home. No money, no listen, as you are a whole sugar dog star. Whatever you depend on to get peace will fail with time. You know, in those days, <laughs> excuse me, 
the illustration I was about making is quite funny. You know, human propagation, what am I trying to say at this point? Please pay the okay. Propagandas and the philosophy of men is very, very annoying at times. You know, there are some people that will suggest to you, you know, these things don't matter in pretty hell. They will put take a proverb. A man that has a fine wife is like somebody that plants a tree by the roadside. You will be pushing people every day. I wonder how many people Pastor Mark has pushed this street. <laughs> Yeah. Is mama not beautiful? There is a way, let me go. This will be very focused on time. Before we say man of God, you have dropped the mic. Yeah. Don't come and talk this message to the beautiful wife. But hear me! Also those that are wonderfully made and fearfully made, it does not guarantee peace. People will tell you when you have money, forget it, you have peace. You know, for those of you that send wishes to my mom, God bless you all. So, you know, at night, after we went out and all that way, going back, the private show was about that. She was talking about one of her very renowned friends. These guys are in videos. He said, This one's nice. They can never be outside by this time, bro. That evening, you know, I was not just going to very kidnap, you want to kidnap. But those people that have money, the money gives them all that tension of fear. Once it's 5 p.m., they are already in, they are not everywhere. I'm not going to case right now. Knowledge will not secure peace. What secure peace is the computation power. How many of you have been there before that when you are working in the future, something happened to you and you say, hey, 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 this is karma. It is this thing I did that year that I thought to happen to you. How many of you have been there before? When a computation power comes in, the principle of karma is forever suspended. Let me say this to you, my dear friends. Listen, if you should pay for your past mistake, some of you will not be here today. Some of you here. Yeah, it's just God's mercy. The competition power gives you peace, makes you grateful, and gives you what again. Are you correct and following me? It gives you progress. That's why when you see somebody that genuinely has salvation, it does not murmur. When you see people that are comfortable, it's easy. Let me say this to you, my dear friends. It's not that they are not going through times. But when I think about what God has done for me, show my journey thus far, can he receive that thus far? I feel so privileged and blessed and happy. Oh, what a joy when you understand the privilege of salvation. What a joy. If you are still here and you are going through depression, you have not tapped into the computation power. Say this about me, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Jesus, is my everything. Jesus is my everything. I know the account balance is red. No, 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 no. The computation power is at work. I know, yes, the health is not functioning. The computation power is at work. Disappointed, betrayers, and all form of denial. The competition power is at work. Sometimes they go, they went on, a, there was a competition that somebody should be the best, there was, there was an art competition that everybody should interpret this with painting. Everybody were painting things. Some people were painting people on white, walking with their hands closed. Some people were painting the beach with wind flowing and everybody enjoying. The person that I want, you know what he painted? What he painted? He painted a very ferocious storm, very deadly storm, hitting at a rock. And at the rock, there is a very tiny branch that they said there. On that branch is a best nest. The storm was heavy. On that nest, a bed covered the children, the chief, with the wind. I was sleeping. The reality of peace is not the absence of trouble. It's your ability to totally depend on God's ways, principles, and promises and business form. When you easily lose your balance in the face of trials, it shows how much you lack peace in life. That's why for you to be great in life, you want to be somebody that wants patience. The moment I've come to realize that God is at the driving seat of my life, I don't panic over anything. Humanity will kick in 
think at times so that sometimes you might wake up at night and say, hey, this thing is not normal. But when you remember, I want to make it myself. You realize yourself. Because you're supposed to Jesus Jesus' name. Is somebody getting this right now? Thankfulness is not happiness. It's an understanding of the power that is working for you. So when people say you are happy, when people say you are joyful, it doesn't mean you are not going through times. You know, one of my very, very wonderful inspiration, I love him so much, Charlie Bozeman. Somebody that puts a smile in the face of everybody. I know some of us are going, but those of you that are going, you know, that's what I'm talking about. At least when he had a few days and weeks to live, he was still going on events to give people hope. He went for an outing one day to go and encourage cancer patients. He was at stage 4 cancer and he was encouraging them and he ensured that nobody could have asked start to until he died. So people will see you and say, this one, it doesn't have problem now. Not the this one, where we say, you know, let me say this to you, my dear friends. Be careful why you talk about, especially those that are assignment for the gospel. Be careful. Because you don't know the price that pay. You don't know. Before you fail up and you just can't start reacting, think about, you know, selfishness at times is when you consider your, your own self more than the second party. It's a dangerous thing. It destroys and weakens anything you are doing. You don't know. You don't know. A teacher was teaching one day. And he saw one young boy. They said, come and solve this mass. And they gave him a show. And the boy gave him his left hand. He said, you are, very, are, you, are you thinking? Why don't you give me your left hand? Am I your mate? You know, in the path whereby they put so much demands on culture. And before I would forget the boy yesterday, he has insulted the boy and harassed him. Just for him to look at the right hand very well and discover it was plastic, the boy does not have a hand. When you are thankful, no matter the circumstances you appreciate, ungratefulness is when the moment when it doesn't please you, you will become ferocious. Not be that way. Thankfulness will sustain everything God has given to you. And if thankfulness is based on your greatness, soon it will reduce. But if it's based on the sacrifice of the past for you, it increases by the day. I'm going to read this right now. What sustains thankfulness? The reputation power that is sustained by the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, before coming here today, he told me, he said, I want to express some things to you so that your message will be properly decided. I could not sleep last night. You know, when I was going to bed at about 4 a.m., my mom said, What have you been doing? What have you been doing? I don't want to travel. Why? And by 5, I was up again. And I'm still standing till now. I was attending the conference while traveling down, streaming. And I did that to be here as well. Now, yet this again is very well. Your thankfulness should not be based on things, people, or events. It will fail. At every point of your life, turn back to the cross and say, Jesus gave me his own. Even if I don't have this one, it doesn't change anything. Before you entrust the future to you, you look at your thankfulness for now. Number three, in this population power, what is number three? What is number three? How many of you want to progress here today? Beautiful. Put your hand down. How many of you have copied notes before in secondary school? Yeah, let me see that. How many of you have owned let me use the Nigerian language, old notes before, you are old notes. You have old notes before. Do you know that some people, because of the notes they owe in first 10, they will not have book again for that subject because they will keep paying. But I learned this early on time that anytime you owe notes, can't free space and copy the present notes. 
if you want to progress to the future, you must renounce and rise above the mistake of the past and now. The mercy of the Lord is new every what? Not every year, not every week, every morning. So today, enough mistake has been made. Go and sleep and wake up. As you wake up, listen. Often, somebody say good morning. Somebody say good morning. As I'm speaking to you now, if I say I'm going to sleep, I sleep for five minutes and I wake up. It is my morning. The secret of good morning is that when you go to bed, as you come up, it's a new morning for you. So when that situation is easy like this, go and sleep. Even when you are hungry, as you sleep and wake up, something happens to the hunger, two of us. Somebody just said in this mind that that must not be every hunger. But that was one that don't hit you before. It might help us. It's somebody like getting blessed today. You will progress from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody brings back your past. He said, Look at you. Are you going to this party? Remember the other day, it's what happened, it's what happened. And you want to do it again? You want to try again? Remember what happened the other time? They almost arrested you. You want to do that business again? Remember you've not paid the last debt to You want to go for that program again? The other one, if we do it, the first thing we still remember, on that your prayer, paper still the ground. Forget it. For you to progress, understand the power of propitiation. You got to pass to Jesus' name. Oh, I will be running off now. Holy Spirit of God, help us. I will be blessed today. Yes, Let me just share two more before we go. Should I? Yes, if you are truly the same again, Amen. Satan captures your glorious future with the mistake of your terrible past. When a policeman wants to arrest a person, what does he do? He carry a handcuff. Two of us. Then, the handcuff of Satan is your mistake of the past. God does not have issue forgiving you. Also, Satan said, God does not have the right to forgive or not forgive. If Satan, I let him not forgive you, this forgiveness does not make any difference. Am I complicated? The problem with life and destiny is the ability to forgive yourself. Am I complicated right now? Let me share this story with us. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is somebody here tonight. Hear me, hear me very well. And I know you that you have a day to go to the He knows so that you don't have a so that you don't have a kid of the I put a certain end to your own past in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't want to go into more details, that is not be so uh, but this is a real current past. I put a sudden end to it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you know that there are some past that becomes an identity? There are some past. There are some past. Those expressing as he's going there now, he will misbehave. Before I come to five, the best is not a prophet. The past has so much embraced that destiny that that destiny cannot stay for an hour. You know, let me not be so detailed, but one of my very good friends was sharing about a young man that no matter he did, he packaged everything. And this guy went back to the same program. That is somebody suffering from the occurring past. A person suffering from the occurring past, if you like. Eh? Have you seen people before that have the recording pass of stealing? Give them all the money in this world. Take them to a place. Also tell them, hear me. Tell them that any money they want, they should tell you. They will still want to steal. That's why you want to be careful how you repeat the state. Because you are inviting the spirit. And every spirit that is invited can only be taken away by the door. Anything you do, if you keep praying by 12 in the night, when spirits involved, let it be that 12 in the night, all the rain in the world for you will still wake up like that. Because the spirit is a positive spirit. If you are somebody that knocks, when you continue, when spirits enter, forget. That's why there is nothing like addiction. Every addiction is supported by the spirit. Have you ever cancelled couples before? You see them God fearing. The person that is always going out, 
there is a program. I will encourage you. Oh, not one. If you are not mature, don't watch it. Because it will, it will have a way of affecting your mind. To trust people will be difficult. It's a foreign program. Cheaters. You will see a couple, they everything, they have it. But there's not something that will make the person want to step out. The error of your current past. The error of your current past. And the error of your current past always happens when you are close to a verge of rising. There is somebody here right now, as I'm speaking to you now, you are here. See that this is what the pastor talking about. You have missed chances. This year though, there were three cardinal chances for your rising that you thwarted by your current past. If you be patient enough to count it, it was three. Dynamic destiny moment. From this moment, I decree over you that grace to subdue rest upon you, Jesus. Amen. We are current past. Please, man of God, on Friday we'll be taking communion. I want to to that if possible. But there's a pattern we just go we'll have communion. You will come with your own communion. Come with a bottle of water and come with this meat. We are not coming to share anything. You come with your own water. Pray with this and come with it on Friday. That's why there are some things. It takes communion to break it. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans 5 is my help me. God bless you. Romans 5 verse 9. If you have people that say amen, amen. much more than be not justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. The second power of the blood is the justification power. That justification power, also Kokolo, you cash me, say I do As far as I have demanded of the blood, I did do it. When the blood spoke for Apostle Paul, he said, I have done no man anything. Apostle Paul, we hope people can manage you. He understood the power of the blood. I'm not saying this right now for you. To not start going to say, uh, thank God the blood of Jesus, he said, I will thief this evening. Tomorrow I will be the blood. You are, you are joking with high tension. Have you seen? Because there are some elections that will shock you for warning. There are some, the warning is that right? Let me be very sincere with you. Amen. Spiritual principles and laws can never be broken twice. Before the blood of Jesus came into the picture, if the high priest made a mistake and forget the smallest detail while going into the holy of holy, they will use shame to throw him out. There was no warning. As that mistake happened, how many of you remember that young man that was trying to support the army? He saw the army to fall. What happened to him? I want to see how many of us understand our Bible. Pastor has given us a small. Was he trying to do something bad? He was defending the act of his nation. But because of the detail, be careful how you joke with spiritual problems. You might not have the opportunity to correct it. You say, ah, Pastor Frank, that is a uh, Old Testament. Have you heard about Ananias and Sapphira? Jesus Christ has not come and come, but his spirit has come. Let me say this to you tonight. Let me say this to you tonight. If you have any person that jokes with spiritual principle around you, discard that person. Because not only him that might much, much is expected. There is something this young man will do. I will not spark him. I will not talk to him. I will wink at it. If any person like precious or there are those things, you surely have already done so much this evening. That's what I before the truth. So let me not do much illustration. I'm going to make it right now. Now, hear this and hear this very well. When you operate the justification power, every person trying to use your past against you become your past. That's why be very careful. How you interrogate people that God is working on? And you brought that we can't even go through this one. Rather than you can't even go through those one. Let me say this to you, my dear friends. This is the reason they say when you see men of God, especially somebody that is working with God, often is the best to just see or fail you. 
Use this one. Moses broke a pattern of the world. He was not supposed to marry from the strange tribe. Somebody talked about it and ended up with their process. God did not question Moses. I said, Moses, confess. This thing they are saying is true, but this is what I will call your people. Tim. And he brassed that goes to the day to day by having cabbage. So I say justification. Justification means no guilt. Do you know that when you accuse somebody wrongly, that person can sue you to court and make a fault out of you? Anytime you are trying to bring back the past of somebody that has been justified, you are trying to create an identity that will take it away. And if that person can operate on the law of the spirit, they can destroy your future. Someone say, I'm justified. Justification means that if a person that needs to fulfill a destiny should be a virgin, and you, you have done a lot of things, you know there are different rates of virginity. Am I going to be this right now? There are some. Because you are not I don't want to talk this thing to a relationship summit. See, here this. One of the days I will teach about mess. You cannot rise in this kingdom there without mercy. Hey, hey. That is why you will see somebody that is human righteous always failing in life. Do you know what happened to the prodigal son? When he came back, he took the position of his elder brother. Because that already came from his father to him direct. Hey! If you look at it from the eye of men, you say this story is very partial. What are you trying to encourage? So that we won't be wasting our father's property. He was trying to paint the picture of justification. Can I be sincere with you, my dear friend? That destiny that has been spoken over your life, you will fulfill it now. They said that the person, the truth is that you will have been the one, but they said that the person that is supposed to be that grace is supposed to be a virgin. Justification and virgin you. Listen very attentively. Barrassing that those who make a devaluation. When justification power is at war, also, the thing you can never merit in your life, keeping all the best you can, is beyond the fall. In this life, in this kingdom, it is not who you are that matters, it is what you are and what you do. Am I communicating right now? So let's say I'm justified. Can you see that better? Can you see that better? The next time you are not praying and sit and come, say you won't pray again. See your mind. See what you did yesterday. Also, somebody here right now, listen very attentively before stepping here. What happened? You cannot come here and say it on mind. This is specifically for somebody, but the mercy of God speaks for you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I be sincere with you, my dear friends? One of the ways God is converting people is through expressing his love. Some people only bear the part of our God used to punish people for them to change. No. If God Bracket you and beg up you with love, you will change completely. Because it was in Jesus' name. The justification power of the Lord will make you. Go we believe you were blessed with today's episode of Pure Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234 812 328 8593. That is plus 234 812 328 8593. God bless you real good.